Sasha from Russia. Russia. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, then thank you for coming back. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Today, I am coming to you guys with another fall makeup tutorial. Drugstore, 100% drugstore fall makeup tutorial. It's super easy, beginner friendly, all that great stuff. Um, before I get into the tutorial, I want to show you something. So I did use the Black Radiance Contour Palette in the color Medium to Dark. And I just want to let you guys know, if you're a beginner, this is something that will be really smart for you to invest in because it is a contour palette. But again, I did use these colors simply for my eyeshadow. It has your highlights. So you have everything but what mascara, eyeliner, lipstick, and foundation and concealer. But anyways, that's, it's a two-in-one. Let's just say it's a two-in-one. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do, then please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, please. And if there's anything else you guys want to see, then just let me know down below in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! So I'm going to start off with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer, put this all over my face. And I'm going to use Revlon Color Stay and Maybelline Fit Me mixed together for my foundation. I will have all of the products I use listed in the description box and their colors. Um, for the foundation, I'm just going to kind of blend this out, pat it into my skin to get a flawless coverage. And yes, I do already have my eyebrows done per usual. So next I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. Just to brighten up under my eyes because I'm not really concealing anything. And you want to use a concealer that's about two to three shades lighter than your skin tone. And I'm going to spray my blending sponge, sponge with my e.l.f. Um, setting mist spray, I think it's called. And I'm just going to blend this out. And I'm also going to blend it onto my eyelid because I'm going to use my concealer to prime my eyes as well. Next, I'm going to go in with my Airspun Extra Translucent Powder, and I'm not going to bake with this. I'm just going to press it into my skin in those areas that I highlighted to set it. And I've been doing this technique lately, and it's been working amazing. Just like a translucent powder to set, and then the Black Opal Finishing Powder in Neutral Light to bake. And I'm going to put this in the same areas that I just highlighted. Next, I'm going to go in with my Black Opal Duo in Tawny Tees. And I'm going to get that red shade and place this right above my crease in my transition area. Just windshield wiper motion. And now I'm going to get the contour palette and take the contour color, which is the dark brown. And as you can see, I'm using a circular motion with the windshield wiper motion just to add a little bit of definition, not a lot. Now I'm going to take that sculpt color. It's a light brown color and I'm just going to put that on my lid, stopping at the crease. And I'm going to use LA Colors uh, liquid eyeliner to give myself a wing. This makeup tutorial is super easy. I've been, I don't know why I've been in a like beginner friendly mood lately, but yeah, it's super easy. This is L'Oreal's Voluminous Manga Mascara. This is probably my favorite drugstore mascara. If you guys know of a better one, let me know in the comment section because I have no idea what to get. And I'm just gonna use my Ardell Demi Wispies 
to add some length and volume to my eyelashes. These are my favorite, favorite natural eyelashes. Now I'm going to sweep away my powder. And when you're sweeping it away, make sure that you're kind of blending it in as well. Now I'm going to take this NYX Two Timer Eyeliner Pencil and I'm going to get the cold part and put this in my waterline. On the other side, it is a felt tip, but I, yeah, I hate that. Like, I hate felt tip. Going back into that Black Opal Duo, I'm going to get the warm color and just put this under my lower lash line. After that, I'm going to add mascara to my bottom lashes as well. And now I'm going to contour using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Coco. Just placing this in the hollows of my cheeks and blending it out, as well as the temples of my forehead. This is going to add dimension back to my face, add those shadows that I took away when I um, put on foundation and concealer. And when I contour my nose, I like to pick the product up on the brush instead of putting the product on my nose because it makes it more natural versus more harsh. I hate a harsh contoured nose. To set all this, I'm going to use my pressed powder in the color Cafe from Black Radiant. And then I'm going to go back into my contour palette and further contour my cheeks and forehead. Next, I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush palette, the peach and berry color together. And lightly tap this because it is pretty pigmented, like you don't need a lot of it at all. And again, into that contour palette, I'm going to get the highlight color to highlight the high points of my cheeks and um, the like outer portion of my eyebrow, as well as my nose and Cupid's bow. I told y'all this contour palette has a lot that you can use. It's a good buy. To set my face, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And for my lips, I'm going in with ColourPop's Liquid Lipstick in the color Limbo. And I was going to use another um, lipstick color. I can't remember this color, but I was going for a berry something. And I didn't like it, so I went back in with <laughs> Limbo over that. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If so, then give me a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video.